Well, they moved some things up here and I was not prepared. But as Toastmasters, that's what we do. We have to be prepared to be able to speak at any time, right? Yeah. Right. I was looking for the table topics. <laughs> I wanted to, to, to do one. First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, you are the reason why you make each and every one of us feel that we are doing the right thing by being here every time. So thank you. Really Appreciate that. 60 years. 60 years. Now you see, we both have something in common. My Toastmaster Club celebrated 60 years in March. Really? So that makes you my big cousin? My cousin? My big cousin? <laughs> On my 20th birthday, my dad came to me and he said, son, <laughs> the funny thing is, is that was the second thing he said. I didn't want to drive up anywhere. But I had great people around me that continuously pushed, realized that my vehicle needed help, needed someone to oops, tune it. I want you to remember this. Dad gave me a valuable lesson that day in the car because he reminded me of the most important thing that comes with being even a Toastmaster today. And that is, drive up. Don't wait until it's too late. Let those who are around you help you. And when you are prepared and ready, pull out. You will be a shinier you. You will be the true drivers of your life. Thank you. Where you have busy waiting staff delivering coffees and meals and desserts to tables. Roger went on in the middle of all that, not on a stage, but rather right there in the middle of the serving floor. Roger worked the floor. He worked what he was given. Oh, it, it was touching at the same time and, and very powerful too. Before he even began, he went straight up to our longest standing member. This guy has been a Toastmaster for 48 years. And he went straight up to him and he said, before I start tonight, I want to shake your hand. It really, really spoke to his character. 